Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to install Wine in Arc Linux. If you like the video, hit like and also if you are new to the channel, then subscribe. So watch till the end and let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is make a few changes to the pacman uh, config files. So first of all, let me get a text editor. So any text editor will do, but I personally like to use Nano. It's a really simple tool and it's really handy. So you can get this if you want. But and I would recommend you getting nano. So there we go. Now it is installed. What we have to do now is just type in sudo nano config. There we go. Now if I hit enter, you can see there's a lot of sin. Just don't panic and scroll down. By scroll down, I mean hit the uh, down arrow and move downwards until you see this line right here that says multi lib and then the next line so we have to just remove the hashtags which means these are not comments anymore and these will be executed and then we will save the file just press ctrl s and then to get out of it we just have to do ctrl x now that we have done that we have to update our repository and also upgrade our system so there we go so now our system is fully upgraded and then we can literally just do sudo pacman dash s wine now don't just install wine also install wine mono and wine gecko and you can also get wine tricks oh my god it's so big <laughs> anyway uh, you can also get wine tricks. This will uh, allow wine to install packages automatically that it that it requires. So it's a really handy tool. And then once we hit enter, uh, it will ask if you want to install. Yes, we want to install. So just wait for it to finish installing, and you should have wine running on our system. So just wait for it a bit. There is a bit more configuration to do. So there we go, now Wine is installed and let me just clear this out and we will download a package to run on Wine. So I'll just go on to Firefox, I'll get Audacity and just go here and hit downloads, I'll get the Windows version and I'll get the 64-bit installer. Now in Arc Linux, you can basically just, uh, after this is downloaded, you can just click on it and it will just run it off of Wine. But uh, if you don't want to do that, then you can also, uh, first let's see, we can do CD downloads. And then in here, yeah, there you go. As you can see, the audacity is right there. And let me just clear this out. Here we can do uh, wine and then the package we want to install. So Audacity, and then if we hit enter, so it will start the setup, and now we can just install it. And this will basically install audacity in your system so after you finish this as you can see audacity is installed and you can use it record it and do everything you want here and also if you go here as you can see audacity is right there now that is basically how wine works and how you can uh, run wine so uh, we can just press ctrl c to get out of it also for configuration what we can do is just type in wine wine cfg and this will open up the configuration files and in here you can see you can 
configure which version of windows it uses so you can you also have windows 11 so if your application requires windows 11 you can do that have windows 10 8 all the way back to windows 2.0 so you have a really uh, long list of windows you can use you have libraries you can have graphics settings you have desktop integration so you can use themes about audio drivers so there is a lot you can do here so now we can get a gui for wine which is really easy to get you can literally just type in yay and then wine gui if you don't know how to install yay or if you don't have yay here's a video on how to do it just check that out and then come back to it or come back to this video and you can continue on from here then if i hit enter so this will install the wine gui and for the package to install there are a few packages but we'll just go with number one and then in here so if you, we want clean build or what so after it asks for this just keep it at default and hit enter and also hit enter and now it will start downloading and installing everything and also just keep it at default and you should be good to go also in here we just again keep it at default and now it should be installed if we clear this and if i just type in wine gui and there you go this basically just gives you a control panel or this gives you a uh, window for monitoring and running everything in one so as you can see we install audacity and audacity is right here and if i just clicked on it and it opened up audacity and then you can see there is one config so if you click on this it will bring up the config menu the control panel so everything you want from the control panel <laughs> and we have command prompt register editor so everything you have in wine you can see right here and now if you want to uninstall audacity you can basically just click here and then uninstall it from here you can say modify and reboot if i just click this and then we can just uninstall audacity there we go we can also have new products so a new version of windows there is a lot you can do here you can also open the c drive the c drive's location and where it is installed this is a really handy tool to have so when you're running a program if you want to run a program you can basically just click on this and select which exe you want you can go back and you can see that this is everything you have you can go to download so this is your linux download so yeah that's basically it that's how you install wine with a gui if you have found this video helpful then hit like and also if you're new to the channel then subscribe and leave a comment about what do you use your wine for. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.